This easy work boxing, about to hit you everywhere but under your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, y'all. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I thank y'all if you're newcomers for watching the videos, man. It's a video I wanted to make on Tyson Fury. Um, Tyson Fury, you know, as you if you don't know, is now signed with, well, he always, well, he just recently signed with Frank, Frank Warren since he been back. But he did a deal with Bob Arum and um, with the ESPN. Uh, we were waiting on the Deontay Wilder rematch, but unfortunately, as we see now, we we will not be getting that fight. Why? I don't know. But, you know, I made a video on this before, and one of the things that I was talking about in the video was the fact that I believe that they were trying to blackball Al Heyman into a corner in boxing. And the reason I say that is because how, you know, Oscar De La Hoya, his company, Golden Boy Promotions, went and joined Dad's. The zone, and now uh, Frank Warren and Bob Arum are doing business, and it's funny that all this is going on, and at the same time, Deontay, Deontay's what Deontay Wilder's contract is up. So you know how business goes on. You know, and they in the same business. They have people working around and know what's going on. I'm sure they knew that Deontay Wilder's contract was up from Al Heyman. So when his contract come up, guess who sent a hundred million dollars off the zone? Golden Boy basically in the zone sent a hundred million dollars. Why? Because they know that if Deontay Wilder was to leave Al Heyman, then everybody else is jumping off the ship as well. Especially when they see that Deontay Wilder got a hundred million dollars. But unfortunately for them, Deontay Wilder stayed loyal to Al Heyman, and now we have a fight that we don't want to see. Uh, fortunately, we will have to see Tom Schwartz. A guy that's 6'5 from Germany, at least he's tall, he's not going towards uh, Tyson Fury kneecaps like his first opponent from coming back. Um, I'm a fan of Tyson Fury myself. I love the Gypsy King. I like what he brings to boxing. But I'm very unhappy with his decision not to fight Deontay Wilder. I don't understand why. But like I just told you in a little breakdown of my opinion, of my opinion, let me say that, that that could be the reason on why he didn't fight Deontay Wilder. I think they're trying to keep money in-house and they're really trying to flush Al Heyman into having to work with them because I feel like Al Heyman really came in in a disrespectful way and really wasn't showing them no love. So I think they came together, you know, to try to push Al Heyman out the way, which is on the right as business. You know what I'm saying? Can't be mad about it as business. But because it's business now, the world, we can no longer have this fight that had us on the edge of our seats. And I was, I love this fight. I'm from, I'm an Alabama native myself from Birmingham, Alabama. No bias talk. I feel like I love you, Deontay Wilder, as well. Uh, my brother, but in my opinion, you lost. Um, I gave you three rounds. I even gave you two more for the two knockdowns. I gave you point extra for the two knocks down. Two points. Still seven rounds to five. In my opinion, my brother, you lost. You're still a great champion. But in my eyes, Tyson Fury holds that title, man. But... You know what I'm saying? That's neither here nor there because on paper you still hold that belt. So my opinion really means nothing. It's just my opinion. But I did not want to see him fight Tom Schwartz. I don't even know who Tom Schwartz is. No disrespect to him. The man risked his life to get out there and make money for his family but or for himself. But sorry, Tom. We wanted to see Deontay Wilder, my brother. There's nothing against you. I wanted to be sitting on the edge of my seat again. I wanted to be sitting there praying or, or you know... <laughs> Going for the best fighter who ever win because I like them both at the same time. <coughs> Excuse me. At the same time, I just wanted to see the fight again. You know what I'm saying? And then I wanted to see whoever won that fight go and fight Anthony Joshua. But now, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have to do the ring around the rosy. You know what I'm saying? Because we have to wait on, um, see who's going to win between Anthony Joshua and Jarrell Miller. And then by Deontay Wilder still holding the title now, we'll see if. Jarrell Miller win if he want to be great and undisputed and he go at Deontay Wilder. But I'm very unhappy about this. Uh, I did not want to see this fight. I was hoping that there would be a part two to clear the air on um, who won because you know it's a lot of controversy. You know everybody have their opinion on who win. But me, it's no bias talk with me. I'm going to tell you the truth. I've been watching boxing for years and in my opinion Tyson Fury won that fight. And that's no disrespect. Uh, much love to my Alabama native uh, Deontay Wilder. But the truth is the truth, and ain't a cloud that can cover. Uh, that's basically I, just what I want to talk about. Y'all tell me y'all opinion in the uh, comment section, man. Let me know how y'all feel. Were y'all waiting on this fight? Were y'all sitting up there waiting for the date so we can sit there and watch another terrific fight? Have you on the edge of your seat? Uh, now we're going to have to sit there and wait and watch a fight that 
you probably gonna turn the channel 18 times on. You know what I'm saying? But this is not right for us as fans. You know what I'm saying? I understand the business of it. That's why I don't speak on the business of it because I'm a fan and I don't care about the business of it. I want to see good fights and I want to see top caliber fights. It's easy work boxing. Thank y'all for y'all time. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please hit that notification button if you'd like to see more videos. Most of all, if you'd like to donate, go to username, go to about. I appreciate whatever you can give, man. Uh, whatever it is, I would truly appreciate. Take care of yourself and your family, man, and be safe out there. Hit that notification button for more of these videos. It's easy work boxing.